Hi everyone, this is Leah. Welcome to my channel. Today, I would like to talk about the three most difficult things in learning Chinese and how to address them. Number one, definitely the tones. I believe most of you can pronounce the four tones perfectly when you read, but will mess up when you speak. That's because in real conversations, the tone changes and there is a unique Chinese rhythm. For example, in this sentence, 我想我妈妈, which means I miss my mom. The tone is written three, 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 one, zero. But when we speak in real conversations, it will change into two, two, three, one, zero. That's a tone change. As for the unique rhythm in Chinese, we should compare the syllables in Chinese and English. In the Chinese word, the syllable is always ended with a vowel. Whereas in English, the syllables are usually ended with a consonant. Dan gao cake, 手套, gloves, 项链, necklace. These different features in Chinese words and English words makes the rhythm totally different. The emphasis in a word is totally different in Chinese. Gao cake, shou tao, gloves, xiang lian, necklace. Of course, there are some other things that contributes to the Chinese unique pronunciation. If you have tones problems and don't know how to solve this problem, my solution is find a teacher to tell you the pronunciation rules and practice in real conversations, not in just reading. Number two, the sentence order, where to put a time in a sentence. My tip is, if it is a time, put it before the verb. If it is a period of time, put it after the verb. For example, 九点上班 I go to work at 9 o'clock 9 o'clock is a time so we put it before 上班 which means go to work and 我上九个小时的班 it means I work for 9 hours 9 hours is a period of time so we put it after the verb 上 to go to work. And there is only one exception in this rule. If you want to know it, you can come to my grammar class. I will help you with all the grammar problems. Number three, can't remember characters. My tip is remember the radicals and the little components which has meaning or you know the sound. For example, this is a character, but also a component, which existed in many characters. It's pronounced qing, which means green. And uh, believe it or not, these characters all pronounced qing, but may have different tones. Bei, it means shell. As it is known to all that Xiao is a very ancient money. So these characters are all related to money. So remembering these small radicals and components, you can remember more and more characters easily. So today I only talked about three of the most difficult things in learning Chinese. There must be more 
in your Chinese learning journey. No worries, you can leave a comment in the comment section. I will answer your questions in the comment section, make more videos to help you get through them. I will always be there to help you with your learning. This is Leah, hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye!